entering this game against Utah State, you might have told yourself, hang tight. This UConn football season, it's not over. Sure, the Huskies are 0-4 to start the year, but remember, they started 1-4 last year and made it to a bowl game. So there's a lot of football to be played, and it only takes one win to turn things around. Well, the Huskies came sprinting out of the gate red hot, making big plays on both sides of the ball. Aggies with possession, McKay Hillstead back to pass, fires, and Jackson Mitchell comes flying in like Superman to pick it off. UConn with a chance to put the first points on the board, defense making big plays. How about defensive players making plays on offense? Jelani Stafford, the D lineman, bulldozing in from the one yard line. 7-zip Huskies. UConn would go up 17-0 and they would take a 17-7 lead into the locker room at halftime. But things changed in a hurry. Let's take it to the third. Now tied at 17, Utah State with possession again. Cooper Lega whips it out to Jalen Royals. And look at this, up the sideline, past the secondary, 71 yards to the house. And the Aggies take the lead. 24 unanswered points. UConn fans, they can't believe what they're watching. But this game isn't over. No, it's far from over. Taquan Roberson ready to strike again. The rainbow finds Jordan Porter in the back of the end zone. His first touchdown as a Husky. It's 24-24. Back to Utah State. What can the Aggies draw up? Laga to Royals. Wait, we just watched that movie. A 52-yard pitch and catch. Aggies back up a touchdown. Oh boy, what do we have here? It's UConn ball now, 40 seconds on the game clock at the one yard line. Well, it worked at the start of the game. Do it again, Jelani Stafford, offensive weapon. His second touchdown of the game. UConn, a point after attempt away from tying it at 34. Trying to get it to overtime. Joe McFadden for the extra point, blocked by Ike Larson, recovered by Al Ashford. Oh no, a blocked point after attempt with 40 seconds to play seals the victory for Utah State. A silent and stunned Rentschler Field. UConn loses by one point, 34 to 33, the final score. The Huskies have dropped their first five games to open the year. You talk about going from a high to a low in, in a millisecond. I mean, as soon as, you know, ball snapped and you hear, I mean, it just, it nosedives. I mean, I can speak for everybody on the team where, uh, you know, we, we, we knew we were going to win until triple zeros. So, uh, I mean, disappointing. So, uh, just got a, another opportunity next week. I think we're devastated because I feel like we did, we did so much right. And then in the moment of truth, we just kind of, um, you know, didn't do what we had to do. And um, at least me personally, I'm, I'm devastated. And I'm sure the team feels the same way an understandably devastated UConn football team. This was a game where the Huskies fought hard after relinquishing a three score lead, only to watch it end in abrupt and stunning fashion. So now the Huskies are 0-5 on the year and they next head out to Houston to take on Rice on the road on Saturday, October 7th. From Rentschler Field, Jonah Karp, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.